Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> we are still in lockdown and we, it's been a little while since we vlogged so I thought that I would jump on and do something today and give you an update as to where we are and what we're doing. Um, so I'm still furloughed from work. Um, we, what date is it today? The 3rd of June, 4th of June. So yeah, we've missed out quite a lot of the lockdown. It's like 12 days to my birthday. 12 days to your birthday. Um, yeah, we've missed out quite a lot because we went into lockdown at the end of March. I was oh, furloughed Mom. the beginning of April. Mom. Yes, Connie. It's a bee. It's a wasp. Um, so we're hiding in the conservatory. Um, as you know, last time we were get we started getting work done that had to go on hold in the house. So we've been kind of living in upside downness, haven't we? It's all been a bit upside down, but it's finished. So I'm going to show you our new bathroom. When I say finished, actually, we still need to decorate the hallway and everything. Yes, we do. But we're going to show you that. We now have a floor down here. We have doors. This room here is still an absolute mess. Obviously, like literally, the workers just the workmen have just finished. Um, by the way, we, we got the workmen to come in because we've got a side door, so they could just come in and out without actually having any contact with anybody. Um, yeah. So I need to. We've got loads of wood that needs to go back to the shop. That kind of thing. Um, I need to organise in here. But I think I'm gonna before before we decorate and get this room like how it's going to be i think i might just bring some of the toys in here just so we've got some space um but the bathroom is done and it's so exciting jessica's left her stuff on there it's done we have a bathroom and a sink and the best bed a new shower, yay! Jessica's been in the shower this morning. It's amazing, amazing actually how grown up Jessica's got all of a sudden with the whole shower situation because she was never a showerer before. Um, for this bathroom, I bought some mommy, mommy, white mommy. company stuff, and oh my god, wow. this stuff is amazing. It literally smells so nice. I would spray it all over my body. That's the Seychelles one. And I've got the hand cream as well. Not the hand cream, hand wash. So we're all poosh in here. So yeah, so I'm pleased that we've got this. Just need to kind of get the rest of the house sorted. And then I'll feel even more better. But yeah, it, it, was, it was quite difficult because we had stuff half done. And obviously Peter's still working at home. So he's in the living room a lot. So am I. And Jessica's doing her homework and then me and the girls are just trying to like keep out the way of certain areas so now that we can actually use this bathroom it's great it's nice to have one finished room so yeah so we're yeah, just we're I'm just wet. your socks are wet yeah, and, my trousers. In, and your trousers I think it's because you're sitting on the bath mat hmm? the shower mat yeah so yeah, we've done a little bit of work this morning, a little bit of a play. We're going to tidy up the Play-Doh and we're going to go for a walk. We're still not going very far. Um, I haven't actually been into a big supermarket since before lockdown. Peter goes once a week. Um, we just go to our like local shop and get fruit and veg from the green grocers. Um, but yeah, you've missed quite a bit actually. The geese hatched. For those that are interested, I will post a little video of and some pictures of them in here now. Well, we can ask Ruby and Pippa because they're watching this, right? Well, they're going to because I'm going to send them. So, so far, guys, we've got Squeaks, Pippin, and, and this one here, the little one that's just hatched is Treasure. Do you think they're good names? Mm -hmm. 
um, they were so cute and it was actually brilliant because it was such a good distraction for Jessica because the beginning of lockdown was really hard for her. She was really missing everybody. Um, and it was my birthday last week, the week before, the 18th of May. And yeah, Yay. and we've got Jessica's birthday coming up soon, so we're just planning 12 days! 12 days! So yeah, right, let's get sorted and we're gonna go for a walk. So we have come out for a walk. Um, we stopped off at our fruit and veg shop. I think that's one thing like, well, there's a lot of things, but we have been locally shopping a lot, which actually I love, apart from it was the first time I've ever been in a butcher's and ordered meat and I didn't really know what to do. And I'm doing Sunday dinner every Sunday, which I wouldn't normally do, um, which is great. So yeah, they're just having an apple. The dog's eating grass, so she'll be sick later. <laughs> we um, we just have to get out the house. There's no way that I would do a like, you know, when people say like, oh, let's have a duvet day, let's let's have a lazy day, and like watch films. Like, it just does not work at all, and everyone just ends up getting really grumpy. Um, so we just have to get out, even if it's just for a little walk down to the shop or just to bring the dog out. I mean. As you know, we are really lucky with where we live in that we've got a lot of green around and um, like we can, we can walk for miles if we wanted to. Um, so the situation is at the moment, so you can meet up in groups of six. The only really person that we've met is my sister in her garden and also my mum. We got to see my mum for the first time since before lockdown started um, on Monday, which was really good. Um, I think that really helped. I feel like I'm not missing people as much um but still I mean I'm not rushing out to like Ikea and stuff like that I couldn't believe the queues like I mean I just don't know why what's so desperate that you would need to go and do that um I what else have we done I've started riding again in the evenings which has been amazing and really nice to just have a bit of time on my own the school situations with Ruby, with Ruby yeah um, the school situations are that they've Jessica's school is taking certain year groups back at the moment and Jessica's isn't one of them. So basically that's mm. why I'm still furloughed. Sad and good. What's sad about it? Because uh, I can't see my friend and what's good about it is um, I can have a break of, well, like a kind of a break of doing school work because I don't have to do like as much things yeah she's been pretty good at doing our school week it's been a learning curve for me as well like i ain't no teacher but i'm learning to be um so we're just kind of like doing what we can when we can um we'll be walking past wondering what i'm doing um so yeah so she's not going back to school at the moment i'm not going back to work um although i think i probably could go back if i wanted to i don't know um, do I want to really? I don't know. It's it's really hard. It's like you feel really torn between the two, like being a parent and your job, um, which has also been a bit of a learning curve for me. I must admit, like having this time just to be a mum, not have to worry about work stress, um, has that been. That's totally not true. Are you stressing like? about do you want to go to school like back or not <laughs> no but i've been a lot less stressed and just being able to focus on being a mum has been really lovely like i literally am at the moment just a mum which is good we're getting on all right aren't we it's been it, it, it has been difficult i mean i'm not gonna lie I, there are some days where we just have the best lovely best time and then sometimes it is really hard and we're all pulling our hair out a little bit but all in all i think we've done a really good job Little Connie is quite tricky, aren't you, sometimes? Yeah. 
because obviously she needs attention and stimulation and it's hard to share between the two, but I think we're managing all right. I think we're probably best when we're out. Um, and Connie is still having a sleep in the afternoon, which means Jessica can get schoolwork done, which is great. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot. It, it, I, there's been a lot going on, but there hasn't. Like we haven't really, it's not like we've been doing a lot. However, there's been, we had VE day as well. VE day was amazing. And like, I really feel like there's a, a big community spirit at the minute because, you know, I'm seeing the same people out walking the dog. I'm seeing the neighbors. I'm seeing like people down the street that I now stop and chat to. VE, VE day was lovely because we all celebrated something that's, do you know, in all honesty, like would I have made a big deal of VE day normally? No, but it was just something that we had to look forward to, wasn't it? What did you like about VE Day? Um, I could stay with my friends. <laughs> Jessica sang We'll Meet Again, didn't you? And it was lush. It was so nice. At and I, nine o'clock. At nine o'clock at night. She had a late night. But yeah, it was really fun. So, yeah. So, same but different vlog. Like, we're not doing anything massively different to what we did at the start although we can go outside Mom. a lot more Mom. we don't like have an hour limit Mom. yes I'll be right back. you'll be right back okay which normally means something naughty um and yeah so we're just we're just muddling along life is <laughs> only okay. eating like half a rock. constance So we'll just carry on with our day and take you with us. God, I was trying to be like really good in the film <laughs> running up that hill there. I'm absolutely naked. I am pushing the push chair as well. But whew, couldn't keep up with you, Jessie. We have been so lucky with this weather, like unbelievably lucky. I think things would be a lot different if the sunshine hadn't shone so much. Um it really, really, really makes a difference if you can just get out in the garden or even just open your doors or your windows like it just makes a huge huge difference i'm so sorry i'm so out of breath i have been keeping relatively fit but bacon and food has obviously taken its toll um so yeah so we've been really lucky basically is all i'm trying to say and i think a lot has to be said for getting outside and helping people's mental health as well like i really i would worry that you know there would be people really really struggling if they were stuck indoors 24 7. so yeah i'm so so grateful for that Can't you walk? My trousers, Your trousers are dirty, so we can't walk. I've got this new approach to parenting where I just don't really care. Well, no, I do care, but I'm just like letting them get on with it. And I'm worried I'm going to have like actual feral children with no manners. Um, but you know, what can you do? Try our best. But yes, little two and a half year old 
you can hear her growling in the background i'm lying i, I mean i do have discipline i do discipline them i promise but you know i think you've just got to choose your battles and during lockdown it is definitely a good idea to choose your battles because you cannot get at them for every little thing and the thing is you've got to think as well like they're in a different situation you're in a different situation if you're feeling stressed they're feeling stressed oh my god i just freaked out at that who put the doll in there <laughs> i thought it was a real baby oh my god oh my god i thought we were gonna have to adopt a baby oh my god oh. God. so yeah so it, i mean there are massive up, massive downs and i think everybody is the same everybody is just doing things their own way you've just got to do what works for you and like certainly i don't want to spend my whole day arguing and being grumpy with each other hence why we get out the house because we've been shushed one too many times and home at home today by the worker who is this far away of being locked in a bedroom with a computer because he's parked himself right in the middle of the living room, which is fine. And I totally understand, more, most comfortable, most space, but it's like the heart of the home. So whenever we walk in, we're like treading on eggshells and he gets frustrated and yeah. I might just stay here. I'm gonna go up and see the ponies tonight so that I can escape again. And it's massively helping, like it's great. And I'm so, ex I'm so excited to go up tonight. I'm not even riding um, my nieces. But it's just like, it's nice to have that little escape. So Jessica's playing outside. I'm talking really quietly because Connie is still asleep. Peter has just finished work and has gone on a bike ride. So what am I doing? I am sitting on the sofa, looking really scruffy, I apologise, in silence. Silence. Literally just sitting, looking at my phone probably got five ten minutes max but this is just enough just to keep me ticking over <laughs> We're walking on. Shall we speak? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're out with the ponies. We've come out. It's absolutely chucking it down, but we've managed to find a bit of shelter. Yeah. This is my niece, Pippa. Hi. And she is riding our little pony, Bambi, who you might have seen in the earlier clips. Our little mean machine. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, there's a the sheep out. out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's loads of sheep out. Oh, hell. We have to go on a sheep rescue mission. But yes, we made it out and there's nothing I love more. Oh, wow. Ooh, steady. Than coming up and seeing the ponies. Um, especially at the moment. Oh, a big raindrop just landed on me. So I'll see you later. Bye. Right, that is me home i look like a total boy um it's 20 past nine i'm back from the ponies had a lovely time in the rain um but it was nice to get out for a couple of hours so i'm now gonna go home go in the shower probably drink some wine and stay up way too late because i don't know if, if you're like me um but it's just that time on your own at the end of the night i know i'm cheating a bit because i've been out on my own um but I just, I don't know, I just love sitting, watching what I want on telly, playing on my phone, looking at Instagram, looking at Facebook, and then I stay up too late and regret it the next day. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've made it all the way to the end and haven't been too bored. Um, if you haven't subscribed, then do hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit like. And hopefully I will see you next time. And hopefully I look less like a boy and more like a girl. <laughs> Thanks guys, see you later, bye!